back on the practice field out in Berea and some good news Greg Newsom, Pierre Strong, David Njoku all back at practice uh, after not practicing yesterday on Wednesday. Um, some concerning news, Dewan Jones not practicing. James Hudson got most of the reps at right tackle during the early portion of practice that was open to the media with Jaron Christian at left tackle. Uh, Joel Batonio talked about kind of the injuries to the offensive line and trying to get the guys in the right spots for Sunday. We're kind of figuring that out this week. We have a few new bodies in here, so we're, uh, we're getting to know each other a little bit and get a little bit extra work in. You feel comfortable? You played last, what was it, like 20? 2021. 20, 20, yeah. Yep. You had to play, what, one or two games? Two games, two, two games, games at left tackle. I remember them, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, that was uh, a few years ago, but I, I know Bill's working to try and get our five best guys out there, and, and we'll kind of see how that plays out. Yeah, O-line's one of those uh, positions where as the year goes on, you know, you're hopeful that everybody stays healthy, but it's a, it's a tough position. So I think Coach Callahan has had a lot of experience with mixing and matching guys and keeping us ready um, for really no matter what. Um, COVID kind of helped with that too because you had those random um, sicknesses. But it's, uh, it's one of those things where you just stay ready. You know, For me, for Wyatt, for Poe, um, you're just trying to understand the whole playbook. So if you do have to move out to tackle or, or um, do something differently, you kind of have an understanding of what's going on out there and, uh, and you can perform as well as you can. With that, let's welcome in Quincy Carrier, Untitled Unfiltered Browns coverage. Uh, Quincy, the, the challenging news, you're going to be down two of your starting offensive linemen. The good news, you got three good ones, and, and they seem to be able to find guys that they can get to do what they need to do on the offensive line. Yeah, a lot of the offensive line is just, you know, it's it's tug of war. You know, it's not necessarily if you got everybody there, but if you have enough people to win that challenge uh, for that week. And that's what it's going to be for this offensive line group, right? They're just going to try to battle it out, um, try to negate some of your issues there at tackle. And luckily for them, this isn't going to be an extremely challenging game. I'm um, at tackle, right? It's not like you, TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith come to town this week. So at least you get a week to get ready for that. Um, but yeah, it's not, I wouldn't say it's idea either, right? 